Hello, Boomerites. Welcome back. Welcome back. How we doing? Um, Great. Babe, I saved this one for you. Okay, I'm excited. This is Miriam Margulies, I think is how you say it. Um, if I remember from uh, comments on the one video I did, this was like two or three weeks ago. Okay. I reacted to a clip of her on the Graham Norton show. But this is a compilation. And apparently, I've only seen one, but apparently she's uh, an old lady who says a lot of inappropriate stuff. Oh, I love it. Which is right up your alley. Yes. So, I th I, that's why I saved it for you. So, anyway, love we're going to get right ladies. into it. Remember to like, subscribe, do whatever you want. Okay? So, here we go, Boomerites. Let's see what she says. I probably, this is like a 40... Seven minute clip, so we're probably just gonna do like half of it. Okay. Okay? Alright, here we go. I'm just fascinated by you. <laughs> no, no, because unfortunately, I don't know many black people. <laughs> no, except in show business. Yes. Except in show business. And that's what's so nice. It's lovely. It's, it's exotic. really lovely. It's exotic. <laughs> Lovely, Marie. You're right. Now, uh, Miriam is a thing. She doesn't like to know who she's coming on with. Because last time you you liked Will I Am, but you didn't know who Will I Am was, did, did you? I, d I actually didn't. I, I, he, he's charming. He's a most delightful gentleman, really. <laughs> um, but, but unknown to me. That was the thing. <laughs> yes. So how are you doing tonight? <laughs> well. <laughs> no, you have you seen? Have you ever worked with Dominic? Have you worked with Dominic? Yes. No. No, we haven't, no, darling, we haven't. have we? No, we no, haven't, actually. No. No. But I hope we you haven't. will. Yes. I, I think I've seen you in the History Boys. Yes. I think I saw that. Yeah, yeah. That's good. And I can't remember you, but I thought you were... <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Excellent. Uh, Excellent. Uh, Excellent. <laughs> no, did you see Mamma Mia? He was very good in Mamma Mia. Did you see that? That was a dreadful film. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Thank you. I hate that movie too. Why? <laughs> because I hate musicals. Musicals are so lame to me. What? Oh, baby, I love musicals. Nobody. I want like a drama or comedy, not a bunch of people walking around just going. I like so I open the fridge <laughs> and then I grab the cake. You don't. And then the cake goes round and round. We go round and round. We go round and round. <laughs> you don't just sing sometimes. No. I think, don't you think life would be more fun if you like saying things? Like if I'm about to do something big, like I'm about to do a presentation or something for school, I'll be like, I am a badass. Like I'll say that little song. So what <laughs> should we do? Like courage. we went to the shooting range today. Yeah. What should we have done? Like I'm driving there, I'm going there. to the shooting range, hurrah, going to the no. shooting range, hurrah. No, it needs to be more badass. He's like, gonna shoot a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> it makes life more fun. Okay. Seen everything. Wow, well, well this channel just crashed. <laughs> <laughs> Good Who lord. Was better, <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's continue, okay? Okay. Alright, here we go. Yes! <laughs> it was fun, Miriam! It was the film of Mamma Mia! It was it was a very popular film with, with people. Yes. yes. That's all we can hope for, Miriam, really. That's, that's, we dream of making things that are popular with people. <laughs> <laughs> and Lily, I'm a pop star. I mean, you, you will know Lily's songs. I promise you, you will. Darling, I'm 72. I, I don't know about songs and singing, but I know you're highly admired. I do know that. Let's see. Yes. Unlike Dominic, I guess. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know who that chick is? Yeah. The uh, that one right there. Wasn't she? I think she was the uh, the villain replicant in the new the newer Blade Runner. The the badass female one that was, um, you know, the one that was sent by the by the um, blind guy to like get the get the bones back and find the child that they thought was born from a replicant. Maybe. She got like the same hairstyle and everything. It looks like her. I, I, <laughs> it does look like her. Yeah. But... Oh. 
but you would have heard Lily's song at Christmas on the ads. It was on the John Lewis ad. You saw that ad, didn't you? I, I was in Amsterdam at Christmas. I, 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 Christmas starts in October. <laughs> and by the way, have you have you, have you chatted at the back a bit? Very briefly. Yeah. Oh, okay. I okay. I've I don't know you. We don't know each other. No, do we? we don't. No, not not yet. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm very pleased to meet you. Well, very, 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 yeah. very pleased. Mm -hmm. And I think you're lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're lovely too. Thank you. That's good. There we leave our show. <laughs> and, and for the last time um, we met each other, uh, we went to see uh, the Queen of Country, we went to see Love Jolly Parton. Yes, we did. Yes. And we, we got to meet her, sort of. A sort of meeting, meet and greet. We had to queue for about well, 45 minutes. It's a long time. A I can barely hear this one. Yeah, me too. It's like, the volume's like really low on this one. <laughs> so I farted and... Um, <laughs> did you hear that? Of course you heard that one. Well, Mir Miriam understates what she did. Well, I was irritated. You know. <laughs> but she goes, we're standing in the queue and it's like nice people here all kind of, with their dolly pins. And she suddenly goes, balls for fart! And it was the loudest <laughs> fart I've ever heard. <laughs> well, I fart a lot. I think I don't like it, but I don't know why. But I think it brings people together. I think it's, <laughs> I think it's an encouraging human thing to do. We all do it. Yeah, we all do it. You know. Because so what? you're. Is it a? What's That's right, babe. We all do it. Is it a, a cold? Actually, this is um, it's a sort of party political broadcast. It's on behalf of of uh, colonoscopies because it's a wonderful way of checking what you've been eating and uh, and the, the harm it does to you. But <laughs> it's easy to check it as it goes in. <laughs> Well, what happens is you lie on your side and the doctor puts um, a lot of tubing up into your arsehole and, <laughs> and, um, and then it all sort of comes out and he looks at it all. <laughs> look at him looking at it so it. intently. He's and like, it's really worth oh, really? He thinks this what happens. Have you done it? No, but you were meant to, a guy's meant to do it by 35, 40, apparently. I don't know why guys should be different. Arseholes are arseholes. <laughs> Okay, it, what is the story uh, about you meeting an American man in Cambridge? When I was a student? Yes. Yeah. That was before I was a lesbian. I was just... Um, <laughs> I was sorting myself out. Yes. And, um, as you do at, at, at university. Uh, Jimmy Carr, and young Jimmy Carr. On my bike, because we, we cycled. Over the cobbles, over the magic. <laughs> And we stopped at the traffic lights, and I turned, I looked to the left or the right, as it, whatever it was, and there was a car, an open car, with an American soldier inside, and something crazy took hold of me then. You know that feeling. I've got it right now. I've got it right now. And I said, would you like to follow me to my college and I'll f*** you off? Look at how proud she is. She's yeah, so proud. Yeah. She's so proud. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Still in knee pants at the time. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. All right. Finish that story. <laughs> I think we know. I think we know what happened. Right now. The really interesting thing was he afterwards, and, and I should explain, 
I thought I was being a good girl <laughs> because a bad girl would have had intercourse. With a random stranger from the street. <laughs> sure, sure. Well, I still think it was the right thing to do. I'm sure he felt the same way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So after That's it was all over, he said, could I come back next week because I've got some friends here. <laughs> to be on one of your shows that will... <laughs> this lady's crazy! Oh my god! Oh. Wow. I like how she put on a southern accent. Can you... Yeah. Are you gonna be back here, lady? Because I got some friends back home that'll love you. I'll come back next week. <laughs> we'll actually air. <laughs> Oh. Miriam is one of those people. You must be in such a tiny minority in the world. I've never seen friends. Oh, I've seen, this is the one clip that I did see. I found it. But that's not possible. You must, no, have, you must have woken you. up in a hotel room and it was just on. I'll show you some episodes in a hotel room. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Um, many years ago, I lived in America, yeah. in Los Angeles, and I was part of the stable of comedy people um, of Norman Lear. And he introduced me to Marta Kaufman and David Crane. Yes. And I really liked David Crane, and I couldn't stand Marta Kaufman. I thought she was a monster. <laughs> Oh, I'm actually quite a lovely woman. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't say anything. I won't. <laughs> no need, I'd have thought at this point. Keeping <laughs> on telly and all. I think it's been said. <laughs> You uh, played, uh, I was going to say a monkey, you played a rabbit in, uh, <laughs> no, the caramel. The Cadbury's bunny, yes. Yes, yes, yes a long time voice. ago, yeah. Oh, yeah. that beautiful, smooth, caramel-like voice. That's it, that's it, yeah. Oh, lovely. That, that was that, Miriam. That was me. Uh, was it Take It Easy, Mr... Take It Easy, Mr. Rabbit. Something like that. Oh. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> As in a really creepy poll, that rabbit came <laughs> third sexiest animated character of all time. <laughs> Yeah. That's weird. Like, right? Who decided to... We should, we should find out which animated <laughs> character we find. I want to know who beat me, yes. yes. Betty, Betty... Is it Betty Boo? Betty Boop? Yeah, Jessica Rabbit. Betty she Boop. is I bet Jessica Boop. Rabbit was second and you were third. Not bad. It's not bad. Not it's bad. not bad. But you did tweet some really good pictures of yourself at the Jubilee celebrations. There's you with... Will one is. <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love the fact that you've out-royaled him with your outfit there as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. who, who is that? Yeah, that's Jeff true. He out-royaled him. <laughs> yeah. It's William. He's got a fucking red coat on. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. She said, who is that? She didn't know that who, who is that, gentleman? That's Prince William. Oh, it come never on, is. Oh, yeah. oh, no, no. Is that really Prince William? Yes. Not the black one. No, the black one's you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that was Prince William. He is Prince William. Yeah. He's, he's dying. dying. He's dying. I love it. But he, he's bald in that picture. It was a flash because it was his phone. So a lot of things are getting lost up there in the top. Yeah. Like, you can't really see my top of my head there either. <laughs> In fact, That's that whole true. entire black area is my afro. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Is that what happens if, if you don't use enough product? Just... <laughs> this, is, this is what will happen if he doesn't use enough product. This could happen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's I great. Like how they had that ready. That's great. That was perfect. on planes. You were doing a film, was it in Morocco you were doing a film? In oh no, it's another quiet yes, clip. It was no, 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 no. Poor Little Rich Girl. 
and it was a difficult shoot. And Everybody was a bit depressed. I'm pretty sure I got the volume. Yeah, the volumes. Which you couldn't get on, on films. And um, I thought if I exposed my breasts, it would cheer people up. <laughs> in those days, they were they were curvy. They were they had some life in them. They, <laughs> they had some life in them. <laughs> Salvation Army now, you know, <laughs> raising the fallen, so to speak. <laughs> oh my God! But, um, and I didn't mean to be offensive at all. I meant to be, you know, caring and loving. And I just took off my bra and straight down the middle of the plane, right through first class, right through to, to economy. You know. and, uh, it, was, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. Did you get a round of applause? Actually, no, there were just shocked faces. <laughs> but I will do anything to cheer people up. That's very nice of you. It's all right, see you yeah. after. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've said that it's not autobiographical in any way, and yet the character you play is a lot of you. Uh, well, I play a drunk. Okay. <laughs> So, <laughs> it's a slightly exaggerated form of myself. Yes. Were you, were you an alcoholic one time? I still am. <laughs> I still am. Well, yes. I don't think you ever stop. No, you always are. You always are. I'm a recovering alcoholic. <clears throat> I'm glad we're talking about this. <laughs> you look great. Thank you very much. You look great. Thank you. When you're in an ad, do you voice an opinion on the ad? Or do yes. you just do... Oh, you do? Always. Do they welcome that opinion? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I know better than they do. That is the truth. Yes. And I'm experienced, and I need to help them sometimes. Mm. The grammar is often bad. Um, <laughs> she really doesn't want to listen to my songs. <laughs> We'll get notes later. Because <laughs> Miriam, you were the voice of a period, weren't you? A menstrual period. A yes. menstrual period. Yes. <laughs> what? <laughs> Sorry. My mistake. mistake. <laughs> you're the voice of a period. How did you find that voice? <laughs> well, you always go to the text first. Yes. And the text was. Uh, you didn't expect to find me on your holidays. <laughs> so that's I thought, well, <laughs> that's got that to be a, a naughty schoolgirl. So <clears throat> I, I went, um, <laughs> you didn't expect to find me on your holidays, did you? <laughs> that was creepy. That was, that was <laughs> creepy. Uh, oof, oof. It was for a sanitary protection. Yes, Lovely. for sanitary protection. Yeah. Sales yeah. went up, I imagine. Yes. Yeah. I, I have actually got a menstrual story for you, if you'd like. <laughs> but, um, uh... Off you go, well, Mary Margulies. I, I, did I tell you last time about when I did an audition for Crossroads? No, I don't right. think so. Well, <laughs> for those of you who, who may remember, Crossroads was a... Uh, I know, I uh, um, a soap opera yeah. uh, which took place in Birmingham and I went for the uh, for the audition and um, I'm pouring this all over myself it's rather exciting and um, <laughs> as I was waiting for my turn to, to do to do the audition my period started and I thought period <laughs> <laughs> Miriam yes. just had her period. So, <laughs> I, went, I went to the ladies' room, and in those days, there was a, a long box on the wall, Dr. Southall sanitary towels, and you put in two, <laughs> two pens, and pull the little drawer, and 
got out the carton. Am I right? You remember all this, some of you. And, um, People applauding. So, oh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so I put in my 2p, pulled out the little drawer, and it snapped back with my finger in it. <laughs> so it was really painful. It tore a great gash in my finger, which was ex so sore, bleeding all over the place. I managed to pull open the drawer and extract my finger. I rushed into the loo and fixed myself up, came out again and went in and started to read for the audition. And I noticed the script was covered in blood. And the people I was auditioning for noticed it too. And they looked at, and I, I saw them looking and I said, oh, I, I'm so sorry. You see my period started. <laughs> Wow. Oh, no. Did you get the job? I did, actually. You got the job! Yay! My whole mission right now is to use music to inspire the youth to care about STEM education, especially the girls. And that's why I'm going to East London and, you know, I talked to Prince Charles on having, putting a STEM program into the, the Prince's Trust. This is fantastic. It is. This is fantastic. <laughs> You're, you're making a difference. He's making a difference. Yeah. And that's what we all want to do in our lives. You know, I'm nearer death than you are, believe me. And I want to have made a difference. I haven't got seven million, you know. But I agree with you. Education is key to the future. And how unexpected that this rapper would do this. Because I don't, you know, I don't have a, a very positive attitude towards rappers. I don't really know any. You're the first one I've actually talked to. <laughs> And the black guy. Black eye? I'm the first rapper and black dude you kicked away. Black eye? No, yeah. black guy. Oh, black guy. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, we need to kick it more. Right ho. Right ho. Oh, oh my, gosh, my this lady. God. This lady kills me, man. <laughs> right ho. That's a, that's a record waiting to happen. Yeah. You got that very late in the day, so you'd know. Yeah, time. they were shooting the movie already. I had three days. Yeah, to, but you're not prepare. gay, and sometimes right. people who aren't gay are better at being gay than people who are. God. Oh, it's a shame. It's a shame you're not gay because you'd be so good at I it. I know. <laughs> no, it, but it's true, isn't no, it? No, I know what you mean. Yes, there's a certain <clears throat> yes. Just. <laughs> There's, there's a distance. An objectivity. There's, a, there's an objectivity. Somewhere. There's a perspective that maybe you wouldn't have. <laughs> See, I, I don't like playing lesbians. I am a lesbian, but I don't like playing them. Yeah. I loathe kissing women, for example, on stage or on, uh -huh. on screen. Uh -huh. Absolutely loathe it. Right. And I tell you why, and I'm quite serious. It's because I don't want them to think that I fancy them. <laughs> Can you understand? No, yes, I can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's exactly why I don't play lesbians on stage. <laughs> and, and Gemma, of course, was in a big musical last year, Maiden Dagger. And in that, you had to go amongst the live oh, audience. I did. And, oh, wow. And Not something that I enjoy doing, I have to admit. <laughs> I don't know if audiences even like it, because they get a bit nervous. They're, what's going to happen? Are you going to talk to me or make me participate? But I did go into the audience and... It does happen where um, phones go off. How can you believe it? Um, phones go off in the theatre, which is a big bugbear of mine. Um, and <laughs> this guy, I walked down the aisle and I have to sort of stand there and he just, his first his phone went off and then he took a picture of me. So I just took it, the play was set in the 1960s and I said, what's that then? And I just turned it off and took it away with me. <laughs> <laughs> You should have squeezed his testicles very hard. <laughs> well, I did that as well. No, I, I think you might have enjoyed that, Miriam. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Because actually, you've got Miriam. Now, Miriam, you've been quite bossy with audiences. Was it your Dickens? Was it One Woman Dickens show? Um, yes. I think it was. No, no, I think it was something in Australia I did. I can't actually remember what it was. But I was very good. And, um, <laughs> and everybody stood up. 
in the audience except this one woman in the front row. And I just said, why aren't you standing up? <laughs> she said, and good on her, she said, I stood up for Derek Jacobi. <laughs> And that put me in my place. Would you have let her sit there then? But what could I do? I wasn't going to haul her to her feet. <laughs> yeah. You should never do that. You should just, whatever the audience gives you, be grateful. And that's it. You know, and I know that's, that's true. But I just thought, how could she not stand up when everybody else in the theatre was standing up? Yeah, because then she's making a She's point. making a point. She's making a point. And I said, well, I think it's very rude of you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she couldn't stand up. No, she got up to go out. <laughs> if you were to mix Michael Jackson's uh, Don't Stop Till You Get Enough. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you like that one? I'm sure I will. <laughs> so if you were to mix Don't Stop Till You Get Enough into, um, which one do you know? And I'll mix it. Smoke gets in your eyes. <laughs> Porter. So if you were to do Don't Stop Till You Get Enough to Smoke Gets In Your Eyes, I've never heard it. Smoke Gets In Your Eyes. You say it. it. Go. Bust it. I've, I've just busted it. <laughs> so Michael Jackson beat will go. Go. Smoke Gets In Your Eyes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That was actually kind of cool. Yeah, like I like that. Yeah, my, my gut instinct was to do some hardcore rapping, Graham. Yeah. yeah, but that's when you were supposed to say, Smoke gets into my eyes when I'm puffing on a doobie. <laughs> well, I used to be into the, uh, when I was a kid, I used to be into the Booyah tribe. Yeah. Do you know them? Those big Samoans. Yeah. You know those guys? You must know them. Hit the gas, put on a ski mask, right where we pass, what you think, we'd smoke that ass. I <laughs> <He's> like, no. <laughs> let, me, let me do the second verse. This ain't a game, straight up reality, driven by the streets, born by insanity, drive by. Yes, it's the season when the gangster kills for no reason. When an MC sitting on a front porch, sticking like a pitchfork, this is not New York. Those are the words of, the, of a song. A booyah of tribe. A booyah. You know, I'm missing out here. <laughs> I thought she was going to kick it in a rap right there. <laughs> you know, I'm missing out here. You better feel. Don't say like in here. <laughs> This. Uh, I'm going to stop it there because we're like cute. halfway. <clears throat> yeah, I told you you'd like her. She's really cute. Yeah. I did like one reaction video and immediately the um, people in the comments started saying you got to get, you, you got to stop doing the short clips and do the yeah. compilation one and get the queen on. Yeah. She's and really funny. After watching one clip, I was like, yeah, you're right. And actually, the part of the clip that I'm no thinking filter. about was not in there. Yeah. And it was it was really... I mean, you heard most of the stuff she said it was out there. But, yeah. But the, but the, the one was... Uh, the one she said in the clip that I reacted to was really out there. Yeah. So... I like no filter. But I'm sure it's in the us. second half somewhere. Yeah. Because I think we'll uh, one of the too. sets of people she was with was in there. It's just that one particular part wasn't. But, um... Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was She's great. Cute. Yeah. And yes, Mamma Mia sucks. No, it's not. <laughs> Musicals are awful. They're great. No, they're not. They're great. No, they're not. Um, but anyway, if you got this far, like, subscribe, do whatever you want. I'm King Boomer. I'm Queen Boomer. She is the Queen Boomer. I'm gonna go make pasta. You're gonna go make pasta? Yeah, I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that wraps up that uh, session for the day. Have a good day. All right, guys. you guys. Have a great day today. Bye.